wolves. Guess what? It's me. I'm here to entertain you. <laughs> I'm your clown pastor. <laughs> I hope you like it, because I'm a killer clown pastor, too. <laughs> That's an interesting quote, and it gets abused a lot, because some people think that if you have a personality that's not mortuary-like uh, when you're behind the pulpit that uh, there's something wrong with you. I remember a friend of mine who uh, he was uh, preaching a message at a larger church and used a couple jokes to open it up with and he got done preaching and an elderly man came up to him and said, Son, that was a really good message. Except here's a problem I got with you. You see, you used humor behind a pulpit, and humor doesn't belong behind a pulpit. The Bible is a sacred text, not a joke book, son. And as soon as you learn that, the better you'll do. Well, the problem with my friend was he wasn't trying to use humor behind the pulpit uh, to make the congregation jovial. Of course, with people like that in the congregation, they're probably not that jovial in the first place. Now, I only like to hear me serious preaching about serious topics. When somebody gets up there and does all that tomfoolery and other stuff, I just don't care for it. I think that makes a mockery out of the church. Because I'm a serious man of God, and I'm serious about being serious about how serious God is about being serious. There's a lot of serious Christians who, once you get to know them, it seems like at some point in their lives, they accidentally mistook the super glue for Preparation H, and they've been struggling ever since. You see, being who you are is a part of what God made you to be so that you could reach who you could reach. Paul said something interesting. He said that when he's in Rome, he lives like a Roman so that he can reach Romans. And when he's with the Jews, he lives like a Jew so he can reach Jewish people. And when he's with the Greeks, he lives like a Greek. You see, he becomes all things to all men that he might reach some. Get into the Word, get into the Word. The Word of God is good for you, so get into the Word. There's a lot of different types of people. And you're not going to reach every type of person. At the same time, if you're not reaching anybody, it might not be because the fact that the Holy Spirit is purging your body and your church and you're a very serious warrior of God and the devil is coming against you. The problem could be that maybe you're a jerk or maybe you're so high and holy you really can't reach common people. The thing that bugs me about the kind of people that go around quoting the whole shepherd and clowns quote is the fact that a lot of them are judging other people based on their preferences and not the Word of God. Somebody could use humor, somebody could use illustrations, somebody could use a bunch of different means to communicate the genuine message of the Gospel. There's no problem in that. Somebody could very seriously and very soberly communicate heresy. There's a huge problem there. You see, it's not the style with which you communicate. The problem is, what are you communicating? And other people try to take babes who are new in Christ or people who've just come in off the streets. Well, you can't give them giant chunks of meat. You wouldn't flop a sirloin steak on the tray of a baby's high chair and go, here you go, buddy. Enjoy. You give babies baby food. You give them something that they can digest, something that they can actually swallow, something that somebody with no teeth can chew. And so, sometimes people get criticized for being really light, or some people criticize ministers by saying, 
Well, I don't like him because he's not teaching the meat of God's word. He's just teaching fluff. But fluff is all that some people can eat. Hopefully, the more they get into it, the more they're going to want the meat of God's word. But until they get to that point, they need some kind of introductory course. Hi, I'm a shepherd. <laughs> So I want to close with this. I want to ask a question. You see a, an adult with a toddler in front of them. The toddler's sitting in a high chair, and the toddler is refusing to eat. The adult says, come on, please, please, please eat the applesauce. Please, you're driving me nuts here. The toddler's like, mm, mm. Well, pretty soon, that adult decides... Maybe if I change how I'm doing things, that baby's going to eat. So the spoon turns into an airplane. The mouth of the toddler turns into a hanger. And here goes the applesauce. And the baby... Ha! It goes in. The baby swallows and eats. Now, let me ask you a question. When a parent does that, are they trying to entertain their child or are they trying to feed them? <laughs>